And I'm probably going to regret saying that. Uh, okay, there's an army guy down there. Looks like there's two army guys. And army guys like grenades. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Bearded OG, and this is the Insane Nightmare Series. And in this episode, I think we're going to go ahead and do a respec and probably go take another job. And we've got some um, challenges to turn in. And yeah, so let's get started with that. I have um, uh, spent the last couple of days, actually, because you can see it's day 72, uh, mostly, you know, mining iron and wood and clay and all that stuff. I've got the horde base completely repaired, uh, all, all the concrete repaired, um, but I don't have any of the steel part of it repaired um, because I'm making steel because I ran out. Uh, but I'll take care of that, of course, off camera. Otherwise, the horde base is ready to go. I am going to need to make some more explosives, uh, too, between now and then. But um, in this episode, though, we are going to focus on doing a respec and some other fun stuff. So let's um, let's go take a look and see what's going on in the truck over here. I think the learning or uh, forgetting elixir is like five or six thousand now. Uh, but I've got a few things that you know that we can sell too. Uh, so let's wear this for that purpose, and then. Um, and I got, you know, I've got tons of, tons of ways to make money quickly if we need to, mostly via salvaging. Uh, but we got all this stuff here, so let's grab all of that. And why don't we go ahead, because um, this isn't going to really make us a whole lot of money, so why don't we also make our, do I not have a helmet light on this thing? I don't. Okay, I think I have one extra helmet light. Uh, let's quickly make ourselves uh, a pumpkin pie. Uh, sorry, not a pumpkin pie, pumpkin cheesecake. So we get the extra boost from that. So we're going to need a pumpkin. And an egg. Some cornmeal, some fat. And a beer. Cornmeal is over here. I do need to do another garden harvest too, but I'll do that later. Okay, so that'll take about a minute and 20 seconds-ish. And do I have some sugar butts in my vending machine here? I don't, but I am going to buy the Atom Junkies. Yeah, let's buy those in particular. I believe I used my other sugar butts already. I probably will not, yeah, I did. I probably will not um, buy an awesome sauce just because, here again, we're not going to make a ton of money off of this. So we'll just rely upon our cigar, our enforcer glasses, and our pumpkin cheesecake to get, get a bit of a discount. And let's see, armor parts. I do indeed have one more helmet light. Oh, the other thing I wanted to do was make a there we go uh make the preacher gloves uh, i know it's light armor but the damage the damage you know, basically we would we'd be giving up some defense for some significant offense um so the, in fact the entire preacher set's supposed to be really good in general but it reduces the chance of critical injuries but i want to keep heavy armor on for the most part um, but just go with these gloves because these gloves uh, smite that enemy. Where is it? I guess it doesn't tell us specifically, but I think, isn't it like 50% more damage to zombies or something? If that is the case, these gloves are like way OP. So let's see if we have everything we need to make 
uh, six armor kits. Obviously, we're going to need the parts. I think it's just a one-to-one -one ratio on that. Um, I think we're going to need some sewing kits, but I don't remember how many. Uh, let's just grab that whole stack. We're going to need a legendary part. We have seven of those. And we're going to need cloth. One thing, you know, when we go out and about and do our thing, um, I am really low on cloth. I mean, considering how many Molotovs I have to make each week for Horde, Horde Night, right? Uh, and also making armor and things like that. So then we just need 25 steel and 25 iron. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, you're smelting iron right now. Okay. Let's actually have you make a bunch of iron because we need, we use a lot of that too for grenades. But I have steel and iron in here and a big, big batch of it cooking up in our, our cave right now. So we'll just borrow 25 of these and that'll handle that part. And then we have to, of course, make the armor kits themselves. So let's actually. Track those first. So we need duct tape. Which we have a nice little supply of. Okay. Looks like I have some more farm plots that I made up. So we'll go put that out in the farming box for now. I've rotated these crops a few times now, actually. And uh, we'll put some more of that out later. Okay, now let's go back to... Uh, what is it? Preacher? Yeah, Preacher Gloves. Track. We just need the iron. Three more to go. All right, there we go. And two seconds, and it's a done deal. All right, so now what we're going to, we're, we're giving up. Here, let's look at this first of all. Oh, oh shit, 60%. Damn, <laughs> that seems like so powerful. Um, okay, so what we're giving up with our current gloves and it, you know, it, it's gonna, we're gonna get everything back from the current gloves, at least for Zombos, right? So this gives us 50% melee weapon damage, but this gives us 60% just straight up damage, no matter what we're using against Zombos. So we're gonna lose the melee damage that we would have against like animals, but you know, that's not that big of a deal because I'm not, I don't usually take my sledgehammer to dangerous animals anyways. Um, and of course, you know, we're losing the armor, which is about 8.2 armor rating, but I think that's not going to be a problem. So let's take all of these off of here and we'll keep those on there. And then we have room for one more item too. Let's put those in here. Um, let's wear those. And then what else could we put on there we could we can't put another triple we could put a a muffled connectors just what's that do that makes us more quiet right yeah um, these are useless because weather's broken broken in the game right now what do i have on here yeah we don't really need those will help with movement we don't really need those on our salvaging gloves i just put them on there because i could you know kind of thing so, yeah, let's go here, modify, and, oh, shit. Oh, you know what's going on there? It won't let us put movement on light armor, it, just like it doesn't let us put plate on heavy armor. That's interesting. Kind of makes sense. Um, I have armor plate. Yeah, I've got this armor plate here. Let's see if it'll let us use that, because, again, this is my scavenging hat. I just have this shit on here because uh, the only thing I want really on that hat, we'll keep the triple mod and the light, but the other two things are not really necessary for that particular function. So modify that. 
Okay, so it doesn't let us do customized fittings, but it will let us do this, which bumps us up by two armor rating, which is not bad. We'll take it. Okay. So I guess we may as well just put you back on here. There's no reason not to unless I end up needing it for something else. Okay, so if we look at our our combat armor, uh, which doesn't include these enforcer sunglasses, of course. Let's put you back in there. And let's grab our cr uh, pumpkin cheesecake. And... Oh, yeah, I got some meat stews in here, and I cooked up another batch of mineral water. Let's just drink one of those right now. Okay, so we're going to go um, take a look at our what we'll call our combat armor set. So that's this hat here. All right, so if we look at the full meal deal now, we are, you know, we don't get the bonus set, but I don't give a shit about that. Um, this gives us 50% stun resist, okay, heavy armor. This gives us five plus five carrying capacity, which if we took it off, yeah, see, we lose those five points. I'd rather have, have them so that way I'm not having to put points into pack mule, you know. Um, though we could potentially achieve that with some more pocket mods. If we come across like another quad, we could put maybe that on there. Um, but yeah, so that gives us carrying capacity, but it's heavy armor. This, of course, gives us 60% damage to Zeekers, and this gives us 10% run speed, which, you know, helps with the non-combat movement of wearing heavy armor. We read the book some time ago where when we're in combat, it doesn't slow us down. And that's when it matters the most anyway. So, you know, I still have pretty decent movement here with still with three pieces of heavy armor on using those shoes. And I don't want to give them up. So that's basically our combat set. Now, I know there's other sets that are argu arguably better, especially if you want to go for raw damage. But this works for us for now anyways. We might change it up later. Let's head on over to Trader Bob. We'll sell some stuff and buy ourselves some forget elixir. And we'll reinvent ourselves. That car never resets. I don't know why. Other police cars that I've looted have reset, but that one does not. And I don't know. Can't explain it. It's whatever. It doesn't have anything in it because it says it's empty, you know, so... Alright, let's put these back on. So we get the cigar bonus. And he doesn't have sugar butt, so that's fine, whatever. Okay. You again? Yeah, me again. Can't get enough of this place, can you? I can't. Nope. Okay, so we've got pumpkin cheesecake, we've got level five enforcer glasses, and we have our cigar. Uh, for our discount. All right, so let's take a look well, at your inventory. Toolbox and call me a mechanic. I keep telling you, I'm not going to be slapping your toolbox, dude. Okay, let's sell all of this. Oh, shit, he doesn't want that. Okay. Should have sold that yellow battery first, but that's all right. Okay, so that gets up to 66, 64, uh, which is kind of low, but here again, I mean, I can, I can raise money quickly with salvaging. Um, and at some point, we're going to we're going to have a big super corn garden, too. I'm trying to get all the food stuff situated first with the garden before we start that. And then that's going to give us some big income once it's in full production, right? Okay, so what we want is a forgetting. And that knocked that down to 4,200 from 58, 6,000, whatever it normally is. So let's buy that. Okay. Indeed. Indeed. All right, very good. Let's go back home. Oh, job. Yeah, glad I remembered before it was too late for the day. Um, okay, so what is Need this? Ranger Station Golf. 
Oh, what the hell? Let's try and infest it. <laughs> we'll try and infest it, therefore. I'm fine. probably going to die horribly. Ranger Station Golf. Yeah, that'll be interesting. However, with the way we're going to do this respec, um, I'm going to I'm gonna make this respec more combat-oriented. And, you know, we, we took some early on skills, or perks rather, that we needed, you know, in the early game that we don't really need now. So we're going to repurpose those points into stuff that's going to be more useful to us at this point in time. Okay, so I'm going to actually wear my nerd goggles uh, because I want that factored into this respect that we're going to do. All right, so let's do this. Um, we're going to drink this. Well, that's <laughs> that's a new sound effect. Uh, the the old one was it was kind of foreboding sounding if I remember correctly. All right, let's go ahead and respec ourselves here. So we're gonna start with perception. We're gonna take this all the way to nine because this is our bread and butter. You know, we're kind of a a, a perception strength fortitude ish build here, uh, or at least that's what I'm going for. Okay, so that gives us an effect of 10 points, and obviously we want demolitions all the way up to 5. Now, on the Horde Knight, I had raised Deadeye to 5, but I don't think I'm going to do that yet, um, if at all. And the reason for that is because we're not normally going to be wearing our nerdy hat. We're only really going to be wearing that on Horde Knight. Um, and we don't do a whole lot of sniping on Horde Knight, so it kind of doesn't make sense to put a point here unless... You know, we decide to do perception full time. Now, hmm, hold on a second. Do I have room? Um, yeah. No, hold on. Don't really need the night vision mod. So I could put the perception in this helmet uh, or even just buy another one I don't think I can afford to buy one right now unless we go sell some parts because I think they're around 20 what 2800 but I mean that's not a big deal that's easy I've got the night vision mod on here but I don't use it however we might want to start using that in some cases we're definitely not giving up the helmet light or the cigar. But what okay, let's let's just hold off on that thought. But that's something I'm gonna consider. You know, putting a perception mod in here. Um or Oh no, wait a minute. You know what we could do? Oh shit, yeah, we can make the epic version of the Raider helmet. And then we'd get another slot. Okay, well, let's, again, let's come back to that because I hadn't actually planned to do that, and I want to stick with my plan. You know, you know, we'll get more points, of course, especially on the next Horde Night. Okay, so let's just stick to our plan for now. Um, so we'll go back to here. I I'm going to just keep this on four for the moment. Now, um, I want Maxed Out Penetrator, just an absolute must for all the greenies and ferals and stuff we're running into now. Got to have that. Um, I'd, I'd like run and gun but i think i'm gonna try and oh that's not even in this tree anyways that, that's agility okay we want lucky looter maxed out um not, not only for you know the better loot but also just because i can loot more quickly i think i'm gonna hold off on salvage ops right now we can throw points back into that later but i mean i've got an abundance of parts so so we're, we'll come back to this later, but we're not going to do it right now uh, during our respec. Okay, so I think that's all we're going to do for perception. Now, let's go to strength. And in strength, we want to get up to seven. Uh, so we have an effective seven with our cigar. And we're always going to have a cigar pretty much from now until the end of time. 
Uh, so we can get Boomstick back to four. You know, the thing is, though, is this is kind of like my main gun. I wonder if we should just pump strength all the way to nine. I th think I'm going to do that. Yeah, let's just do it. There, because we, we need, like, the full power of our shotgun for the enemies we're going to be going up against. And, you know, obviously our sledge is our main melee, so that gets maxed out. I'm not going to put points into heavy armor this time. And the reason for that is we'll have to repair it more often, but we, we already have two things in our favor for movement. We've got the 10% speed on the boots, and we've got the not encumbered in combat. So I just don't think we need this. We'll just, you know, if we have to repair a little more often, we have to repair a little more often. Not a big deal. Uh, I do want to get minor 69er back up, maxed out. Um, you know, not only for mining, but for block, you know, just breaking blocks and things like that. I'm not going to put any points into mother load for now, but we'll come back. To, that's That'll be another one we'll come back to later. Okay, I think I'm going to also put some points into big and fast, but let's come back to that first because the other one that's really important that we do is we get fortitude up to seven so that we can get machine gunner up to four because this is still our oh shit weapon. I want that to be at least four. All right, we'll come back um, to fortitude. I want to get a few more things, but I want to make sure that in the agility tree that we get parkour two um, because that's going to help us with survivability, and that's that requires agility level four. Okay, and then we'll get parkour two, and that should allow us to, to jump two blocks high. Okay. Um, in intellect... We're going to go, uh, we're going to go back. Oh, oh, actually, here's what we're going to do in intellect. I want physician one, which requires intellect three. And the reason for that is because splints and casts cure sprains instantly. Uh, plus, you know, our, our healing, our meds will be better. So we're going to do that right now. And then we're going to take physician one. I'm also going to take daring adventurer one just so we get extra rewards. I'm not really going to worry about better barter right now. I know it's a good one, but this is a combat-focused build, and, you know, I, I can go out, salvage cars, get a ton of batteries, engines, electrical parts, mechanical parts, and make a buttload of money if I need to. So I'm just not worried about that right now. Uh, plus, you know, with our plan for Supercorn later on. Okay? Um, we don't need to put any points into lockpicking, and that's because we've learned... Oh, you know what? I forgot to do it, Bob. I forgot to do our... Our challenges. Uh, you know what? Uh, if we, okay, put this put this reese back on hold for a minute. <laughs> I, I was gonna do that when I was over there and I completely spaced it off. I know I left the door open. Hopefully it doesn't come and bite me in the ass later. But I want to get back over there and do these turn-ins really quick, so we can get the rewards from them. Okay, so Howdy, let's go to challenges. What can I do you for? And I got a shit ton of challenges here. Um, so let's redeem. Most of these are, you know, just planting stuff. This was survive 10 blood moons. This is a, a big one. Um, zombie slayer, kill vultures, kill spiders, kill big mamas, kill whites. We're closing soon. Okay, yeah, we gotta hurry. That job was as hard as putting We're socks on the rooster. Great work. Okay, um, I'm gonna take shotgun weekly. I'm going to take electrical traps. I'm going to take uh, the armor piercing 762 for our sniper rifle. I'm going to take the. Shit. Uh, let, let's just take another helmet light mod, I guess. Kriplum silencer. Oh, he's got an extra drum and rad. Uh, well, I don't think we need three of these. We already got two silencers. Let's take the cripple them. We already got a bunch of rad removers. Leg oh, look at this. Legendary spear, club, knuckle, machete, baton. Oh, man, I don't want any of that shit. I guess, I mean, we do use a machete. Oh, that sucks. They put, like, the, the weapons that you people don't use. Well, actually, you know what? 
Batons can be... We could do a respec at some point and do batons. Let's do that. Okay. Goodbye. Don't kick me out. <laughs> it's just barely in the nick of time. One wheel down. Oh, I hope I'm not too close to him. Yikes. Okay, we're good. Um. All right. So we got that done. In the nick of time. <laughs> oh, shit. This is where the duck bill really comes in handy. There's another one somewhere. And our level five shotgun skill. Okay. They must have been beating on that for a while. Uh right here. Okay, so I gotta I gotta fix that. I think I think we're in the clear for now, though. Okay, let's go back and try this again. I still, uh, I still hear somebody beating on something. Damn it, Jim! Thought I heard the. Banging over on this side. That must have been him, because I don't I don't hear it anymore. Let's go uh, fix that breach first so I don't forget. We got an asshole hitting our car. Alright, let's do a copy, rotation, and shape. And then uh, copy, rotation, and shape. And we'll fix that and this. Um, I don't have any iron for that, but... I'll eventually get these upper ones upgraded too, but I think that gets us back into good shape here for now. All right, let's get back to what we were doing before all of that business. Um, we have two electrical traps, so let's go grab the nerdy chess piece to read those. Oh, and two shotguns as well. Nothing there. Okay, we can do auto shotgun quality three. Now, I'll eventually upgrade all of my armor to epic, but it's kind of expensive, so we're just doing it on an as-needed basis, I think. Let's take a look at uh, what's in uh, in here. So, really? That's all we get? I mean, the tech planets are nice, I suppose. And we got a legendary part. I thought... I thought we got a, a legendary baton. I don't know why I was thinking that, because that kind of wouldn't make sense, I suppose. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Um, these guys need to go in our armory. And let, 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 I'll worry about that later. Then. Okay, let's get back to our respec. So, let's see, how many points do I have left? We got 16 points left. Um, so, let's go back to Fortitude. And we've got a machine gunner up to four. I want to get pain tolerance all the way up. Uh, well, all, up to four. And I want to get healing factor up to four. Okay, so that gives us eight points left. I want to get iron gut up to four. Not so much for the food, but for the buffs from consumables lasting 40% longer. So think, for example, um, Adam Junkies on Horde Night. So that's the main reason why I wanted to put that many points into there. But, of course, it'll help with food, too. 
Now, um, I want at least one point in living off the land. Uh, we got to have at least one point in that. And then, so that gives us three left. And I think we're going to go back to strength and put those in big and fast. So we're more effective with our sledgehammer. 25% faster, as a matter of fact. Okay. There we go. Nice. Um, oh, we got fatigued. So that's our, our respec, but, you know, if you guys have been watching the last two Horde Nights, you know I rack up the points. So we'll be able to replenish some of the things that I gave up, um, like, for example, living off the land. I had that up to three. But we are quite a bit tougher, uh, both defensively because of, you know, pain tolerance and healing factor, and offensively because of the, the Preacher Gloves. Um, among other things, and also maxed out Boomstick and Skull Crusher, because before we only had those at level 4. So I think it's a good trade-off, and again, we'll fill out that rest of the stuff as we continue to get XP uh, during the Horde Nights. Alright guys, I'm going to put a, a few things away, get ready to go, and I'll meet you over at our location, uh, which is over there. And that's going to be one of the uh, army bases and it should be interesting so I'll see you in a bit all right guys we are here at Ranger Station Golf um there's like a whole bunch of animals over there the pig a wolf and a coyote uh, I pulled up here and uh, got attacked by a couple of Zeeks they dropped some bags and I got this stuff And then I actually had the two um, exit the game and go do something in real life for a bit. So now I'm back. Um, also, I did go ahead and decide to make the purple Raider helmet so we can have both the night vision, which isn't going to do us any good right now. But, you know, when we do night stuff and the perception mod, and I'm just going to buy another perception mod when I find one uh, available at a trader for the nerdy hat. So that way we can keep this in here and we'll have an effective uh, full perception for the whole rest of the time. Other things I'm changing is I'm going to go ahead and just carry this nerd outfit with us because, you know, it, it takes up a slot, but unread magazines take up multiple slots and I don't want to have to keep coming back to the truck to read it. So we're going to do that. I've got extra ammo. I got a little bit of chemical help <laughs> that we might need for this infested quest. And um, I'm no longer going to carry the machete on my toolbar because I'm primarily just going to use it for harvesting animals. So I placed the sniper rifle in slot number three so that way we can have a permanent home for explosives, which is what our specialty is. Let's go ahead and eat one of those. And we'll, we'll kind of play things by ear before I, I start taking this stuff because, um, but you know, but the cool thing about it is it's going to last 40% longer when we do because we took that iron gut. So that'll be nice. All right, let's get started with this this uh disastrous thing uh i don't know why i did that i'm just looking to see if there's anything in here we could pre-loot um so yeah i'm pretty familiar with the layout of this base assuming they haven't you know changed anything and it looks from out here looks like it's the same so where's our thingy it's right over here okay Let's get this party started. Make sure everybody's loaded, especially our shotgun and our oh shit weapon. And uh, let's let's see what happens here. Um, actually, before we, can I? Oh, I can get up there. Okay, so this could be a potential temporary retreat spot, and this would actually probably be a more effective retreat spot. Yeah, we can get up there. So, when the shit hits the fan, we're going to actually jump up on here as needed. Yeah. Okay. Th this, uh, is that wood? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to jump on that. That's not going to last. 
That's not going to last for a New York minute, man. All right. Let's do this. And for any targets of opportunity, but the zombies. Well, there's probably zombies inside the closet there. Yeah, there's one. He doesn't even look feral. All right. Well, we're off to a good start. Probably not going to stay that way, but. Let's go up here. Well, that was helpful. You know, maybe another thing we might be able to do is use this ladder. As an escape. Um, is this whole entire floor though gonna collapse? Probably. Already got somebody's attention. But that's another place we could as long as we kind of stay on the edge here, we should be fine. We can escape too if we need to. Because you know, tier four infested is no joke. Especially on my settings. So we have to kind of be strategic about this. Can't just go in Guns blazing, because we're going to get our ass handed to us if we do that. Uh, all right, let's go. I think that zombo that we're hearing is probably outside the compound. Probably going to be some bad ads up there. Now, can I get away with breaking this without waking anybody up? Let's see. Okay, so another potential place to escape to. We got to clear it first, though. And you know there's going to be bad bads up here. Well, okay. Is there? You know, I haven't actually seen any red dots yet. Um, no. In fact, you know what? Let's not loot at all until we clear the place. Then I'll come back and loot whatever. I have to remember our, sh our sniper's in three now. Okay. Well, so far, so quiet. I think when we go inside this Quonset hut place, that's where the shit's really going to hit the fan. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. If you guys, um, oh, I'm not supposed to loot. Yeah, we'll come back. If you guys watched my Ranger series back in Alpha 20 or 21, uh, I kind of role played that. I mean, it was just light role play; it wasn't anything real crazy. But what what my task was was to go and fix up all of the Ranger stations on the map, which I never did because <laughs> turned out to be way too many to do that. But what I'd do is I'd come and I'd fix a Ranger station up, and then you know then the army or, you know, whatever military force exists in this world would come in and, and occupy it once again to try and, you know, take back the land from the zombies. That was kind of the fun part. So, so what I did was whenever I took over a, a military base like this, I would fix it up and it was fun. The first few times it's like, Oh shit, there's no way I'm going to be able to fix every single base on this map. That would take forever. Uh, all right. There's gotta be Zeke's in here. Okay, now I see red dots. I see three red dots. 
just in a spot. Okay, I see a knee right there. Why don't we um, take that knee out? So it's just those two that we work with? Dude, you're not even feral. What the hell? I thought this was supposed to be an infested quest. Another normal. I don't trust things now. Why are they giving me these wimpy zeeks? He's a normal too. Oops. This isn't infested. Yep, it says clear the infested quest. All right, if you say so. Yeah, no looting. We'll loot later. Clear first. Loot later. Probably when I open this door here, that's when the shit's going to hit the fan. No, nothing yet. Yeah, there's probably going to be some dogs in there, I think. This does... Okay. Oh, shit. Yep. There's dogs. <clears throat> All right. Can we bring them over here? Yeah. Come over here. Come to Papa over here. Got a two for there. Okay, that's all the red dots. Okay. Uh, let's do harvest these guys. Before they're... Uh, well, actually, I don't know. Their corpses will disappear right away. But I need lots more of the yuckety yuck stuff for more farm plots and that sort of thing, so. Okay. That door is locked. I think I'm gonna break this open just so we have a place to well, actually, can we can we do this? Oh we can. Look at that. Love that parkour, man. Okay. Well, we got places in here we can... We can escape to. Sure that didn't wake anybody else up. Okay. We already got one guy awake, but he doesn't actually detect us. How oh, interesting. You know what I didn't do is I didn't take any points in the sneak attack, but we'll we'll replenish that uh, as we start to gain points back. Or gain more points, I should say. And I didn't put any points into archery either. Let's hit that foot. another normal Zeke. What the hell's going on here, man? When we did that tier three infested quest at the pig farm, I mean, we had greenies right from the get-go and it was non-stop. It really makes me a little concerned. <laughs> She's normal, just fast. Looks like she did not waste any time there. Okay. By the way, I love the 25% faster swing on this sledge. It makes a huge difference. Red dots. Ooh. 
sounds just like a creepy crawly. Oh shit! There's a feral, finally. Got a tuber. Well, let's go ahead and loot that since we already have some murky water. We'll check books. Okay. Wear that. Read that. Wear that. Okay, let's get ready to book it in case this wakes up some Zeeks. Nope, we're good. Okay. Well, we can book it back out that way now if we need to. Probably somebody in there. Big Mama. A glowing Big Mama. All right. You guys ready to get this party started? Let's do it. Oh, shit. All right. Who do we got? Who do we got? Uh, you guys aren't... At least you're not greenies. Yeah. You guys are... You guys are wusses. Man, we just annihilated Big Mom. <laughs> Level 5 sniping skill, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta love it. Alright, we can... We have a couple of doors we can retreat behind. As needed. Uh, are those... Feet that I see in there? Yes, they are. I see them moving. Try that again. What the hell? <laughs> All right. gonna get uh we're probably gonna get rushed from in there don't know if anybody's behind there <laughs> guys what the hell's going on here this is supposed to be a tier four infested I'm underwhelmed at the moment. And I'm probably going to regret saying that. Uh, okay, there's an army guy down there. Looks like there's two army guys. Down there. And army guys like grenades. Excuse me. Oh, there was three army guys. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, no, we don't need that. I got lots of coffee back at home. You know what? I think I am just going to keep my Kniffy on my toolbar. So I'm just used to having it there for things like, you know, breaking photos and all that, so. All right, well, that gets us back out here. We just have the tower, but the tower's going to be fun. Yes, it is indeed. Okay, so, um, 
don't know if there's anybody down below. I don't think so. But we just got to work our way up to the top here. I think what our MO is going to be is as soon as we aggro something, we just run back down and kill them down below rather than trying to take on the entire tower all at once. Nobody up to this point, though. We can loot that. Take care of that. All right, so we run across here, that breaks, and then they all come. Oh, never mind. Hmm. I thought I remember encountering zombies on the way up here. Maybe it was just the vulture. This is the loot room, and you know it's going to have a lot of dudes. Well, oh, you know what? I think they're on the roof. Yeah. They're on the roof. So we step in here and it, uh, Wait a minute, this isn't a tier four. That's a that's a tier three crate. Oh no, because tier three infestants are considered tier fours. Right, I forgot about that. Grab our ammo in in advance. Oh, look at all that stuff. Nice. Um <clears throat> let's get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that, too. All right, boyos and girl girlos. Oh, shit. Okay. I don't know what you guys were worried about. We had this all along. Except for we did we did get infected and a, uh, an abrasion. Uh, maybe honey? No, nope, none of that stuff's going to help with that. We got a popping pills. Uh, no help there. A couple of magazines. Let's see what's in the shoddy messiah. More magazines. Okay, yeah, I for, uh, I forgot this was actually a just a beefed up tier three, but even so, compared to the pig farm, it was still pretty lightweight. You know, nothing super impressive. Let's see what's in here, and then I'll go do all my inventory management off camera and meet you guys back at uh, the trader. Come on, don't be an asshole. Of course. We, we need to get used to this because I don't have any points of lockpick anymore. We just have the bonus from reading all the books. Well, we got our lockpicks back. And that's what we have. All right, well, let's take this. And actually, what I'm going to do is let's put a few things in here. And grab the books and we'll read those right now. I think that was it, right? For the books. I'm not even going to take that stuff at all. Okay, let's read these books real quick. Alright. Okay. 
I'll get all this loot hauled uh, back down to the truck and I'll meet you guys back at the trader for our turning. All right, guys, we're back at the trader. Um, I, I looted the rest of the place, didn't find anything super special, except for we did find a legendary parts and a couple more books. But otherwise, it was just pretty basic stuff. We did find a bottle of acid, too, which is nice. Uh, so I'm just going to move all of this stuff over to here. And um, let's wear this to read all of these books. These other ones I'm just going to sell right now. Okay, so let's read this. Oh, nice. We can now make antibiotics. That is amazing. I haven't taken a single antibiotic in this entire playthrough because, you know, we've just used honey to take care of everything. Uh, anything else I want to sell? I don't think so. I think we'll keep all of the rest of that stuff. Okay, let's go do our turn in. Uh, I don't want any of that stuff right now. I knew I could count on you. Here you go. Um, out of all of this stuff, probably the beaker is the most valuable, so let's take it. I got vehicles so slick, they make the road runner jealous. All right. So let's Thank see, day 76, much. day 73. I think he's. I think Why he's restocked. Don't you take a look for yourself. So what we're looking for is the gyrocopter chassis. Um, and we're also looking for another perception mod. Okay, he doesn't have anything we want. You're so tired, you probably wipe on both sides of your toilet paper. <laughs> All right, okay, jobs. So uh, let's just do a normal... Tier four this time. Dirty as hides done. Richard Have Munch Plaza. Yeah, that sounds like fun. It's too nasty. Get the hell out of there. I think it's I've done that. Even fight another day than to die for a few dukes. So funny how it sounds like he's still right in front of my face, even though I'm like a hundred yards away from him. Uh, I believe I've done the Richard Munch Plaza, but I don't think I've done it in 1.0, so I don't know if it's changed. But anyway, that is what we will do in the next episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.